Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of my Berezina campaign in Steel Division 2 playing on the Axis side. Previously we made a couple of simple defences versus the Soviets and we've left a few more units disorganised because of that which we can maybe take advantage of this time around. The 1st Battalion of the 9th Guards Mechanised Brigade, can it be reinforced? It can. So that's going to be reinforced in Phase A, so we're not going to attack those unless we have artillery, which can take away their action points, which we don't. So that's not really an option. I am going to have to move back, probably Battle Group Corner, just because they shouldn't really be on the front line. And I think I might move up the 57th Auxiliary Police Battalion. This is the unit that's pretty wrecked. And then these guys, they need to come back. Let's move them to there, and we'll move Battle Group Corner maybe towards the mid. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just have them there. Maybe I could have had them on the road, but I don't want them to be initiated by the 45th Tank Regiment. If this unit's initiated on by the 45th Tank Regiment, at least we'll have the dug in 17th SS Police Regiment next to it. And if they attack this unit, we can bring in the mixed AA battalion. So we'll be destroying loads and loads of tanks. Cool. But we don't have anything to spend our cash on, do we? Unless we can get AA. Anything with AA is what we want. The Minsk Reserve, AA Battalion. Can that come in down here? Oh, it can. All right, we'll bring them in. And that can just deploy AA somewhere over here. Probably want to do it further up, honestly. Stay here would be fine. That would probably protect all of that. I wouldn't be able to protect the top side, but the top side's pretty safe right now. Because I am going to start by attacking this unit with the 825th Territorial Infantry Battalion. Nothing here has action points, so that's first job done. I can attack with the 860th Territorial Infantry Battalion. We can take out the 1731st AAA Regiment. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. And we can also take out the Recon Squadron. So we'll be doing that. Very nice. And we'll move back again. <laughs> Fantastic. I am tempted to leave that unit there, but that would be a bit overextended. So we are in fact going to come back on that left side. But that's going to mean we have no defense up there in the end of the turn. I may move this unit over so that it can dig in in between. I will dig in here. And we'll have a nice line of fortifications there. We've got the Panzer Fours behind them on the top side. Yeah, it seems okay. Great. So now what? <laughs> we need to probably just let them attack us. I don't have anything else to do. Like, I don't want to move any of these. We'll keep the 80th Flight Regiment where they are, the Mixed AA Battalion. This Mixed AA Battalion is all fine. Uh, all of these I don't want to move either because they, they seem to just be stacking up towards this bridge all the time. They're not actually trying to get through Borisov. Maybe we need to shift the... Tigers further up, but for this turn, no, because they could use any of these to attack the front line. Okay, how much do the planes cost actually? 30 points. Alright, well, we didn't even use our planes last time around. No point in bombing anything, regardless. Let's move on, shall we? We're already into turn 7. 
at some point they are going to have to commit to an attack, surely. Well, here comes another one on the top side. They're going to be attacking straight in to the 17th SS Police Regiment. And they can bring in tanks, so we're going to have to bring in the mixed AA battalion. And I'll probably bring in the runner here, the first runner regiment. Okay, should be an interesting one. Although in phase A, they're not really going to be able to push that hard. Maybe we don't even need the mixed AA battalion. Because... They might not even manage to get to phase B if we win quick enough. Do we have any AT otherwise though? We have one AT gun with a runner. Pretty risky. The thing is, if they attack and they don't bring in the tanks and then they use the tanks elsewhere, it's gonna suck. I will bring them in. Let's do it. I'm just gonna have faith that they will bring in those tanks. Because generally, the AI likes to prioritize tanks for the most part. Okay, it didn't at all. It brought in aircraft. <laughs> I think that's two lots of aircraft, but <laughs> even still, I mean, at least we have the AA. <laughs> if not for the tanks, then at least for the aircraft. Okay, this could be pretty nasty as we try and destroy the 74th Guards Assault Regiment, which is the IL-2s. I'm going to need a little bit of time to set up the defences again, so I'll be back with you guys in just a second. So the defences are set up, I'll just quickly go through them. Similar to the last episode, we've just got trenches on the side of the hills. We've got 88s, I've actually put this one into a gun pit. And then we have the Rona Schutzen at the front here with lots of Flak 38s. We've got the Flak filling in there, we've got these trenches along here. There's one up there with all of these Ronenschützen and the Ronenführer. We've set up a command network as well with the Commandants and so on, just to give extra veterancy. This looks really cool across the front here, on the edge of the hill. Very nice indeed. Same up here. I've actually got three 88s all in gun pits, just sat at the top of this hill, <laughs> which looks really, really cool. Protected by Rona Schutz and the whole way around. The only thing that I have neglected potentially is mortars, but I don't even know if I have any. I don't think I do. And we have nothing to really counter battery. They do have some mortars, so we're going to have to watch out what they're arching and then just move it out of the way. They could very uh, simply just target my 88s, but there we go. Look at that. That looks so cool. We're going to be bringing in. Nial 2 on the left. I actually don't have any leaders here. That's probably the only place where I don't have leaders. I do have plenty of AA. That might not get away. No, oh, it's gone. It's a goner. It may be worth having some units just try and kill the 82mm mortars, like purposefully just run some infantry forwards to hunt them down. Might work. Nice, we're getting a lot of free infantry kills. Just bring up an SS Schubofila on the left. Actually, I guess we could bring up a couple of them. We have them. Yeah, let's bring up a couple. Bring in the Opal Blitz. And we'll just pick them up. Okay, lovely. And we'll unload one, say... Over here. And then the other one, maybe here. I didn't add any extra tren trenches because that would have been really helpful. Oh, that IL-2. It's gone. <laughs> I 
Is that attacking my Flakfling or the Bunker? I think it's hitting the Bunker. That's okay. If the Mortars want to go for the Bunkers, that's actually fine because these are 82mm Mortars which take um, a lot longer to actually kill Bunkers. But we can speed this up. No need to really wait around. Got to keep an eye out. I really like making these defenses. I find it really fun. It takes me a good like 10, 15, 20 minutes sometimes based on how much I actually have to think about the defense. Like in this case, I just thought I'd make it look aesthetically pleasing because it doesn't really matter where they are as long as they can cover the open. So placement was relatively simple. But sometimes when you do a breakthrough game and you're up against units that are much stronger than yours, so for example, you have a bunch of Shermans and you're up against a load of Panthers and then you have some breakthrough defenses to go with those. You're probably not going to want to place the bunkers and trenches on top of hills because they'll just get hit constantly by the Panthers from range. There's nothing you can do about it until they run out of ammo. So you're better off putting your units in ambushing positions and finding those ambush ambushing positions is actually pretty difficult sometimes. Uh, or not difficult, but just time consuming. Uh, my Commandant is uh, getting wrecked by that Mortifier that's missing, so we're going to move him back. I do have a Maxim in the windmill here. Found a little hole to fire out of. Damn. Any aircraft that come in just gets annihilated. Uh, this is probably going to want to move away. It's one of the ones that can retreat for now. And it to fall back out of the range of the mortar. the mortar firing at the bunker. The bunker will eventually die. It just takes a lot longer. They're going to get to a point where they have no recon. No recon IL-2s anyway. They're still firing at the same gun pit. It is indeed. We're into phase B. I think I'm going to send the Ronashes and forwards here. Maybe we can desk this objective on the hill. I think that's fine. Yeah, alright. We'll leave them there. Five minutes now until victory. Leave that flag filling. It's under fire. It looks like it is. I'm going to bring in an Opal Blitz. Actually, I do have two Opal Blitz over here, don't I? I could just use those. Well, that actually, I think I'll just leave them here. We'll just have a new one come in. Doesn't matter too much. We're going to want to make sure we own that ourselves. Thank you very much. Give me my point back. Get that total total victory going. Nice. I'll just pull in behind. Turn off auto cover. Get them ammunition back. And they can destroy infantry forever. The AI might have actually like ran themselves out of ammunition on the AS 82mm mortars. Wouldn't be surprised if it could. I am surprised, however, they brought in AT planes. But I guess it's fine. <laughs> we'll take the kills. Cut down this these IL-2s.
<laughs> this is just ridiculous. <laughs> All right. 16 minutes, 28 seconds. 122 kills, zero losses. A lot of that's just aircraft. I'm surprised we killed that many. Like, I guess I had it sped up, so I didn't really notice, but... Wow. That was a lot. So, yep, decent defense. We pulled in a lot of units there. I'm hoping it doesn't bite us. The tanks will probably attack a different point, I reckon. The, or the center point. Oh, never mind, they're attacking there. They're attacking my Rona regiment. We can bring in this AA battalion, so I think we'll be okay. Nothing else can come in until phase C, so this 88 battalion will utterly destroy them. Oh, it's a lot of 88s as well. It's not 8, that's 12. <laughs> but this should be quite simple. It's a tactical battle and jump on in. We don't have any fortifications to put down, so we can just play it out. As usual. Oh, okay. A bit different. It's not actually a breakthrough battle. Interesting. Well, that's awkward. Especially considering all our 88s coming in multiers. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is this is awkward, guys. Because we're not going to be in position from the start. But. We can still make it work. I've just got to get to the positions where we can unload and just dominate from. So here is a good example. So we just have like a bunch of 88s here that can just unload on top of the hill. And then we have, say, a few on the left. We'll just do another three there. Have them unload on the top of the hill. Uh, then we'll have maybe a couple try and go to the right hand side. Actually, let's do like four. And uh, we will probably go to like here, for example, and then push them all up at the same time because they'll probably come through here pretty quick. I could, in fact, have one unload early just in case. That's not a bad idea. Right, same deal behind the town. We'll just bring in a couple more there. Unless I need one on the left-hand side. Maybe we just put the Rona Regiment one on the left-hand side. Like things at close range. These, all these Rona shoots and they come in without any transports. We do have some Luftwaffe Jäger we can bring in to kind of contest the towns initially. They are going to be quite slow to the front as well because they they are pretty much all tanks, right? These Luftwaffe Jäger will actually make quite a lot of ground. Maybe enough ground to let us get our 88s in position. We have three 88s on the right. We've got three 88s there. We probably want one 88 on the left. And then one 88 coming up behind the town, which I might just unload early. Uh, maybe we can just put it into here and then have it sort of attack, move up the hill. Right, anything else that can kill tanks easily. Now, all the Rona shirts are not useful because they have Panzerfausts. I think it's Fast Patrons again. Yeah, Fast Patron. Hmm. You know what? It'd be faster to probably just start the battle and then click them all in rather than give them individual orders. We don't actually need the 20 mils, do we? No. Let's launch the battle. We'll grab the runner. And I'm just going to spread them out.
There we go. That's all our points spent. Yeah, we'll capture a lot of objectives very quickly at the start. But their tanks are going to be moving probably a little bit faster than our Maltiers. Our Maltiers have, let's see, 25, 40 km per hour road speed. I think Shermans are about 60, like 58 or something like that. They'll arrive slightly before. But with the uh, Luftwaffe Jäger in position, we will actually get a jump start, so that's not too bad. Bring in some more to the left hand side. And bring in the Rona Führers as well. Not that it will really make much of a difference. The one problem we do have is that. I'm going to unload them now. And one problem we do have is that um, unless we win. Actually, no, they, never mind, it's not a problem. I was going to say, um, if we don't win by phase B, then we're kind of screwed, but they come in at phase C anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> Can actually bring up a Commandant to these, if there's going to be a lot of them there. Interesting. Uh, maybe I want to push these down the hill. Oh no, he wasted a fast patron. No, how could you? Absolute idiot. You only have one. Oh dear. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> well, I guess we'll get into a position where we can shoot them from both sides there. <laughs> we created a little ambush. Bring up an MG. There we go. Commandant's doing its job. Uh, may as well push up on the right. And we may as well have... These all wheel up as well. Keep pushing that forwards. Now we can push these over to the edge. Great. We're in a pretty good position. All the infantry just running in. Speed things up. I'm tempted to have one of these try and move forwards a bit. Right, there is one on this side, so make sure we push this up. We'll have the 45 mil come across as well. Well, never mind. <laughs> They're going to take care of that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem at all. Major defeat in 3 minutes and 50 seconds.
Right, nice of you to finally join us, Ronald Schutzen. Well, that's a total defeat in one minute. They just don't have enough points to bring in enough tanks in time. Pretty much all that's happening here. There we go. Total victory. Uh, we killed a lot of tanks. It was good. Solid defense. And we're under attack now on the top side. This could be a little more difficult. <laughs> Mainly because of the Third Guard's Cavalry Corps. Although, this would be a perfect opportunity to bring in the planes, I reckon. Yeah, I think I might bring in the planes for this one. So we will bring in the 80th Flak Regiment. And we'll bring in the Night Bomber Group. And the Night Bomber Group can destroy the Third Guard's Cavalry Corps. If they come in. Uh, they still they might actually not come in. But if they do, then yeah, this is a good opportunity to wipe them out. Or at least a lot of their mortars and stuff. Alright, it's tactical battle. And they did come in. We'll set everything to player controlled. I wonder what happens if we uh, set the security regiment to AI control. Would it just put down our fortifications for us? I can imagine that would be quite convenient. <laughs> like if you just say put this to AI controlled and moved all of these over. Because <laughs> you can like change these between battalions. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Saves me a lot of time in that case. But then again uh, they might not put them in the best positions so... There we go. In this case, we can put all of our units, like, literally in the face of our enemy. And then just bomb them. So, let's tactical battle. And we'll do it ourselves. So we're on the same map again. And I am going to take some time to put up the defences. So, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. The defences are set up, it's pretty similar to usual, although I have brought in a bunch of planes, so there's a little less on the ground. I've just made some like long trenches on the left there, we've got the Citroëns in front of the Pack 50mm bunker, we've got a couple trenches there with the two bunkers, we've got the MG42, uh, Pack 50 there again with Citroëns in front, and then we've got a Pack 37 looking down the road with a 20mm that can kill any infantry that get too close, uh, Citroëns in the middle of loads of barbed wire. And then another one there in front of the pack 50 mil. A couple of Citadelungs defending the town. Uh, three more in front of this pack 37. And then we've got the MG bunkers kind of all placed up in front to just mow down infantry as they come towards us. Let's launch it. I'm going to make sure all of my JU-87s are coming in from the start. And we'll just bomb any like Androsias and stuff that we see. Like this one on the right hand side. We don't want any of those to be a problem. We'll go shoot down their recon aircraft as well. But they do have a couple of M17s. We're going to have to dodge those in order to get to the enemy units. It looks like my JU-87 is not going to do a decent job there at all. Uh, there's two M17s on the left. Ah, we don't have line of sight on anything. It's kind of frustrating. I could, in theory, just bomb those guys. Ah, there's a mortar we can take out. It's fine. But we're going to need another recon aircraft now. Ah, that one can go back. It's already pinned too much. I'm just kind of worried that the Andorish is going to fire any second. 
and I was really hoping that we would be able to stay on top of it. I didn't really anticipate the M17s being a problem. If we overwhelm them, it's not an issue, but that's not what's going to happen right now. We need to have way more if we want to overwhelm the M17s. So we could bring in like five or six and then bomb them both on the right-hand side there. That would work. But here I think the Andalusia is just going to end up like plowing into my bunker. I'm actually going to bring up like a couple of commandants, I think. Those rockets, are they going for the 20 mil? If they are, then that's fine by me. Probably the best thing they could have hit. Alright, we'll bring in the commandant to the left hand side as well. These have vehicles, the others don't. I guess we could start running other units forwards as well. May as well. Oh, another Androsha. This one's actually going for something valuable, though. Or is it just going for the Sidrungs? I think it's going for the Sidrungs in the bunker. Or in the trench, sorry. Unless the rockets are just that far off. Damn. I actually killed the unit. That sucks. Oh, well, the M17 there is in line of sight and is going to get killed. That's going to allow us to bomb that new mortar. Get another bomber. These ones with the 250 kilogram bombs are actually a little bit faster. That could be handy. Could actually come in handy. Uh, they are both three-star veterans, see? <laughs> so I'm not a huge fan of attacking those, but maybe we can give it a go. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I thought this uh, JU-87 hadn't ha got a target yet, but... It had. We need to take out that 82 mil. And for the left-hand side, we'll move over. With these two JU-87s. Bring in another one to join us. And take out the Andrusha. There is an M17 here somewhere, I think. If not, then we can pop a couple of Andrushas for sure. Gonna have that faster JU87 go save us. <laughs> and we'll just bomb that Avto since we can see it. I wonder if an Andrusha could shoot down a JU87 if it dived at the same time a rocket landed. Waiting for like a Mythbusters episode. <laughs> Alright, please don't kill my Sitarungs. They did nothing to you. Yet. <laughs> I'm gonna start bringing up my Lufafiega. See, these guys, they, um... They actually have transports, which is something. It's pretty crazy. The right side. The right pain. Uh, I might bring up a pack 36 here or two and we can just pop those if we attack moving forwards. I'm also tempted to bring up some AA pieces if they come in transports. I don't think they do though. No. We could bring them in with Opal Blitzers. The 20 mils would be pretty damn useful. Just bring in these four, and then we'll bring in these three, four. The Citadungs won't last forever.
Get a big bomber to come in and slam these Gavardia. Alright, go pick them up, boys. We need them on the front line. Those scissorings are dead. That's fine. And the rush is about to fire. Where is that firing? At the Citroëns? It is. There's going to be a big old hole here. Well, they're saying that my Lefa Viega are about to arrive, so it's not so bad. Also, it doesn't really matter if they kill my bunkers. That's a decent strike. Oh, is that another one? Blimey. Oh, nice. The M17s are actually moving forwards. Alright. Well, that might help us out a little bit. Because we're going to kill them shortly. Didn't even need these pack 36s in the end. Let's bring up the recon. Grab another bomber. Go get that 82 mil. That's both of the M17s destroyed. Fantastic. Right, might be a good idea to go get in these trenches. And we'll move forward to the Commandant. There can be three star veterans here. Get the job done, hopefully. Okay, good. Managed to kill that one before it did any damage. Got to keep buying them in. Is that a new Andrusha? It is. Bomb that, please. We might run out of stuff on the front line at this rate. I'm a little worried about that, actually. Uh, one of these didn't load. I guess just because the others are in the way. Yep. Right, we're going to take out that new Andrusha there. Damn. Andrushas are pretty tough to deal with. I'm going to have to bomb that guy, an SG. We're going to bring in a couple more MGs, I think, on the hill. Yeah, it's getting to the point where the infantry is more of a problem. So we're going to have to deal with that. I guess we're going to do another set of Opa Blitzes on this side. And bring up another load of Flak 20 mils. Oh, we didn't even kill the Andarusha there. Wow, that's a fail. And this artillery is getting the better of us. It actually is.
Thankfully, the 20 mils have nearly arrived, but they're probably going to get Andalusia'd as soon as they unload. Like a priority target. I don't know if it's worth attacking as this too, honestly. I just bomb something else. We are getting 17 per tick, which is pretty good. Let's move the 20 mils to the edge. We can engage from out of range. We don't have much ammunition though. I guess, well, we have over blitzes, right? <laughs> Not gonna matter. I guess that's one benefit of uh, using over blitzes. Although they're probably gonna get killed if any artillery comes in. I'd be like auto targeted. They might be running out of Andrushas now, though, which would be nice. I wonder if that'll get a double kill. Be nice if it does. We'll have a look. Yep. Perfect. I'm gonna move the commandant back a bit so it stops taking splash damage. Well, goodbye <laughs> to the old recon aircraft. Speaking of which, I need to bring my own. I don't actually have much recon at the start of this one. Normally I bring in recon with my defenses so I can see what I'm aiming at from miles away, but in this case... Not going to make much of a difference. Oh, they have the SG. Right, those SGs kind of screw up my plan to use the 20 mils. I might just bomb these guys. Actually, no, never mind. It's too late. Too late. Cool that SG. Uh, we spotted a couple more. Easy stuff. Uh, let's just bomb that, I guess. Actually, no, that's not bomb and Dushka. What's the point in that? All right, let's just uh, bring in another bomber to the right. And at some point, I'm honestly just going to put these onto auto. What is that? Oh, it's a 120mm mortar. Okay. Just bringing in so much artillery. I'm glad I brought in these uh, planes. Imagine if I hadn't. How ridiculous this would be right now. Speaking of ridiculous. That's a lot of 120 mil mortars there. At least the, the 20 mils are doing their job. Gonna move that out of range of the edge of that tree line. We're using a ZIS-3 there. We didn't even load these up. 
<laughs> Let's get them into the transports. Damn. They are really going all out on these mortars now, aren't they? On that, this three. I'll probably bomb the Dushka directly. I just need to see what the other units are there. There's a couple more. There's one. I remember there's one right there as well. Oh, one of the uh, 20 mils got killed. That's okay. Which point did we lose, actually? I think it was on the left. Three minutes and fifty seconds remaining. Rocky Comrade. Trying to kill those guys, it's fine. Move forward these Lofafiegas into the trench there. These 120mm mortars are surprisingly resilient to mortar fire. Or to air, like bombs. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but we're doing okay. We have got a lot of kills. I wonder if we'll do enough actually to maybe destroy the unit entirely. I think unless I have a 500 kilogram bomb, I'm going to have to add double team most of these mortars. It's just so many, and they're never ending as well. Yeah, without air, we would have just got arty to death. <laughs> oh, damn, would have been brutal. That's a 500 kilogram bomb. Yeah, that one shots. Good. Where we are in phase C. We move forwards on this side. We can probably capture that objective back, and I can probably take this objective back as well. Fly these all in. Not much time left. I'm not sure they'll get there in time, but we'll have them come in anyway. Maybe we can give them targets. A lot of the Shitterungs actually died in this battle. This was a more substantial attack than we've had previously. But still nothing crazy. Nothing we can't deal with. Okay, that's it. Pack 37 got destroyed on the right hand side. And a total victory. And we did actually capture both those points. Cool. 17 kills.
and 233 losses for the Soviet side. That is ridiculous. <laughs> this is so much stuff. <laughs> that killed three Andrushas on its own. That 37 mil killed so many Dushkas come down the road. In the end, the Sidrungs just taking a lot of mortar fire and and the Rusha fire to the face, but wow, 16 120 mils, 14 82 mils, 7 Andrushas, 10 F22s, 7 Zis 3s. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. We disorganized them all. Oh no. And it's our turn. All right, well. Unfortunately, guys, it's been my time, but in the next episode, we will start pushing back again on this top side, hopefully. They do still have these units here, so I don't think I'm going to be able to take them out. Actually, maybe I can if I do attacks forwards here. Hmm. We'll see. I'll work it out. But until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.